I've got two tracks here and what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to use effects and looping to keep them exciting as they play. So if I spin the first deck back to the start and the second deck back to the start. Again, these are beat sync tracks. What I'm going to do is just set up some live loops on the fly and use effects in both decks just to keep things interesting. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. So just by kind of playing around with the effects using some loops, you can create a great sounding performance. Obviously it helps if you know the kind of tracks you're working with and when to drop things in and out and when the drop is and when the breakdowns are. Of course the waveform display helps an awful lot with that, with uh, figuring out when to do stuff. But one thing that's nice about the delay and reverb effects in particular is that they have a tail. So even after you release the effect, it will keep sounding for the duration of however long it's supposed to sound. So with a reverb and a delay, you can kind of use those to smooth over transitions between tracks. That's quite, quite useful. In fact, let's have a look at that next. Let's see how you might blend together the end of one track with the beginning of another track in a different genre or that doesn't beat match with the first track. <laughs> 